We are back. Tukiwa naye Grace Njeri Mugo ambaye anatueleza magumu yote ambayo ameweza kuyapitia na vile ambavyo Mungu amempa nguvu. So your dad mm -hmm. no more. Yes, my dad is no more. Now the journey started. Mamangu sasa haezi kuja kukukana mimi because nia mbaki sasa kwa boma peke yake. And you're also going through issue. Yes. Yeah. So wakati nilirudi huko nikarudi na mtoto wangu na msichana wangu wa kazi, Mungu awabariki wa msichana wangu. So wakati niliendelea kukaa na mtoto wangu ikafika a time nikiwa kanisani uh, <laughs> report ikafika kanisani tumeachana na bwanangu. Mm. So from there because I was a worshipper nika andiwa niacha nisimamishwa kwanza. Mm -hmm. Nikasimamishwa so sikuwa na hudumu but nilikuwa na very strong conviction that in that altar kwenye Mungu alinikumbukia the same same place upon ndipo nitatafuta huyu Mungu. Mm. So mimi I went back to church. One day it was announced that we are not together with my husband. Na sasa So imetangazwa kanisani. Imetangazwa kanisani. Waziwazi mbele ya watu wadarani. Waziwazi. Okay. Uko ndani sasa hiyo? Siko. Hiyo siko thanks so, God siko kanisani yes. Okay. So wakati niliambiwa hivyo I felt bitter. By the way, it was so bitter your time kwa sababu it happened when mambo haya yalifanyika kitambo. Sasa unakuja sasa hizi kugundua wakati wenye ni wakati hata wa mwisho wakati nimeshapata nguvu I've accepted Kwa wakati ambapo mambo yalivurugika huku juza mchungaji hakujua Mimi for real mimi nilikuwa tu nime I am one of the person wenye sijui na napenda tukunyamaza Sasa kumwambia mchungaji Mimi si kumwambia nilikosea but later on alikuja akajua Oh good Yes mm -hmm. So venye alijua na akatangaza ukweli aliniambia si kumwambia of which nikajua hata pomi nilikosea lakini So Mungu wakati anajua kwake ni kama breaking news yes. ila hali uh, Yes kwa kweli breaking news Yes yeah. Sasa kutoka hapo. ni venye mambo ilikuwa too yeah, much, much yeah. Yani hata you don't And see that And then your personality probably you know that person Yes who, okay. ivo Sasa mimi nikakuja mimi alinitangaza nikakosa kwenda kanisa but nilirudi kanisani eventually. Okay, the same church? The same church. All right. So mimi nilikwenda kanisa na kapale na hudumiwa na barikiwa na rudi nyumbani. So mtoto wangu wakati tulitoka kwa tulimaza kuzika my dad tukarudi huku. Nilikuwa tu sawa na mtoto wangu. He was very strong. Alikuwa yes leo anashikika kesho he become strong for mommy. Na ikafika wakati akakuwa sasa ako sawa he is moving he is talking hata kama ha, haongi la tile gargling ya watoto na kelele na furaha mm. he was very jovial so wakati moja nikaka nikafikiria mtoto ndo akumpeleka kwetu nyumbani at least akae na my mom cuz hata wanajua na sasa they had bonded very well with my mommy mm. so nikasema kwa sababu ni one month tufunge shule acha akae na mamangu then nitamchukua tukifunga shule So mtoto wangu nikampeleka home but before ni mpeleke home nilikuwa na ile mafikira mimi sijui ilitoka wapi nilikuwa na kaivu na tu mtoto wangu anaenda my baby is leaving me mm. na lala nakaa na tu na lala Mungu ananiambia I'm taking this baby mm. yes it was very strong na lala naye hapo niko na yeye uko ndani nimelala naye niko zile za Mungu God sasa kwa nini the journey that I've been with my kid kwa nini No na. Sasa yule mgonjwa like he was, serious. No, he was not sick. But you were yes, seeing not, death. Yes. I tried to pray. Eh. I told another pastor to ombe na yetu kaomba but hata nikiomba the same message ilikuwa inakuja. Na si eti unaonyesha mtu mwingine grace this one. I'm taking. I'm going to take your baby. Yes, I'm going to take him. Siku moja nilikuwa nimekaa dukani it was on a Saturday. I felt like kesho ndapeleka mtoto wangu kanisani at least watu wa kanisa wawe the last picture of him kwa akili zao. Why are you this convinced that I don't know. I don't know. Kuni litoka CG and he was not sick. But I don't know. But I was seeing my baby going. So wow. nikajaribu kuomba. Mm -hmm. I prayed hakuna nikaamua kupeleka mtoto nyumbani. Eventually nilikuwa nimeamua kupeleka mtoto around December. Afikisha be around 2 years. But from nowhere nikakuwa convinced you taking that baby right now. So mimi nikapeleka mtoto yetu mtoto wangu kwetu na nikamwacha na mamangu. And I came back nikaendelea na kazi. So after one week 
I rushed home the second week after nimemwacha the second week nikaenda home on Monday. Niliomba tu ruhusa shuleni nikaambia nitaka kwenda nyumbani. Mm-hmm. And I thank God nilikubaliwa nikaenda nikaona mtoto wangu. Mm-hmm. So the Not reason because he was sick. No. Nile... The reason to why I was going nilikuwa na that thing inside me. I'm seeing him going. Second thing What do you mean? I don't know. Second thing nilikuwa nimempeleka ili kwa sababu alikuwa anaendelea na therapy I wanted to go and connect him there. Okay. So nikatoka na mtoto when I reached home on Monday nikalala na mtoto wangu he was very happy kuniona alinijua na nika that smile ilinipatia nguvu. Yeah. So nikaona mtoto wangu nikalala na Monday Tuesday nikaenda na mtoto wangu hospitali. So ili ni kuna si ugonjwa ni just want to connect him kusabia therapy. Yeah. Kwenda akaingizwa kwa system kila kitu I paid ili sasa wakati nitarudi huku mamangu ataweza kuwa anampeleka therapy na my sister mm. my sister is also at home awe anampeleka therapy So nikakuja it was on a Tuesday nikaambia vetulitoka hospitali kufika nyumbani nikasema before akule acha ni moshe afreshen up ndeze kula When I was washing my baby I had a very clear voice from him Mommy wash me unaniosha ya mwisho are you serious yes. like are you for real yes yes my baby spoke to me despite the fact that how is that even possible how old was he he was one year eight months but i had a clear voice from him mommy wash me you're washing me for the last time so i <gasps> took yes yes i took my baby after bathing him nikaeka uji nikamshika hapa i prayed and told god wa, wa, what is he saying so nikamshika mtoto wangu i prayed yeah. my mommy was outside not knowing what i'm doing or what uh-huh. i'm going through yeah na hapa pia niko zile za i don't want to tell my mama anything yeah but inside me i'm just dying of the truth and naona and nasikia and na feel so nikaomba na mtoto wangu nikamwekea chakula nikapatia mamangu nje ampati so my mommy akampea chakula na nikarudi nika ikafika around 6 ndo nilitoka thika every time i call mimi mnendeleaje mtoto yako je ah kwa sawa watasikia anapiga kelele mm. so on thursday asubuhi nikamka very early in the morning kuomba venye tumiwa mka naomba so nilikuja nikapiga magoti hapa kwa ikiti when i was praying nikasikia maombi yangu ime change inaombea mtoto wangu mm-hmm. and i cried bitterly sijai lia maombi kama nikiombea mtoto wangu mm-hmm. i felt so bitter nikamuombea nikikatana niki na those words nilikuwa naniambia yeah. the feeling that i had yeah. but nikamaliza so come friday to the worst moment of my life worst moment <laughs> Nikatoka hapa nikaenda shule on Friday. So when nilifika shule tukatoka parade nikaka tu kwa staff room damu refu sana staff room. Later on when mezoea sana nitoka staff room nikienda class I called my mom. Kuta kujua meamkaje. Mm-hmm. When I called them then my mom is not picking my call. I na ikuwa kawaida yake. Mm-hmm. I called my sister. Nikaza Lois umepigia madhe na mpigia simu achukui. Akambia cha ni jaribu. So Lois called mommy. When she called me mama was not picking. She was not picking. I sister ngo told me Grace enda home ujuni ni kinaendelea. I continued calling my mother. I continued calling. The call that she picked she told me that ametuacha. I asked nani tena? She said Trevor ametuacha. Mm-hmm. She said Trevor ametuacha. Sayo kwa api? Niko shuleni. Niko shuleni. Na ameniambia hivyo. So nili nili nili, nili run to crazy. I was with him Monday and Tuesday. He told me he was going, but I never thought it was that soon. I never thought it was that. Alifinyumbani mbali hospitalini. Sasa asubuhi aliamka vizuri the same same Friday. 
aliamka vizuri mama hiyo alikuwa hey. mezoea kwa around 6 so mamangu akasema mke around 5 ampikie uji kwa usiku alikuwa amesikia kiwa na joto kidogo mm. but akamfanyia first aid akawa kwa sawa so when they reached the hospital the baby alikuwa moto sana mm-hmm. so daktari akachukua mtoto kuchukua mtoto akajaribu kumfanyia first aid akampima pima akamdunga shindano mbili kasemekana alikuwa na severe pneumonia mm-hmm. so my mommy was told apeleke mtoto embu a uh, thika level 5 yeah. So wakati ne God had connected kulikuwa na gari tu hapo nje. So gari kaitwa ikakuja wakaweka mamangu na mtoto. Wakitoka hawakwenda ta distance kubwa. My mommy akaona mtoto amechange. So akamwambia driver hapana, take me back. Waende waniambie ni nini mtoto anafanya. Yes. So when they took the baby to back to the hospital, the doctor confirmed that the baby is normal. What? Yes. That first? Yes. Mm-hmm. When I reached the hospital I found my baby lying on a bed amefunikiwa and he's gone I felt like the world has just ended Yeah Nili feel at a fatherly to angekufa na mimi why am I even living kwa nini naishi yeah. so tukashughulika na mipango zikaanza ya kupanga sasa mambo na mazishi Yeah so mtoto wangu alikuja kazikwa kwetu And from there my journey has not been okay. Yeah. It has been the toughest part of my life. Yeah. So but all through nashukuru Mungu cuz God has been so faithful. Yeah. During my baby's burial there is a song that I sang. Nikambia Mungu narudi tena. Na kushukuru kwa yale umetenda. Mm. Cuz nilijua God you you've done it and you knew it. And I thank you because you showed me that he's going. Yeah. So you loved me even if it was a bitter truth. You loved me. Ulinionyesha that this baby is going. Yeah. So the moment I was coming from Thika nikikuja huku kulikuwa na certain barrio mahali. So wakati nilipita na mtu wa bike, God reminded me Uyu awe nyo wanalia hapo ni mtoto mzima nimechukua. Yeah. Na kama ungelea wako ni mchukue akiwa that age. You've been with him now all the challenges but ni mchukue akiwa almost 30 years how could you have felt? So thank me in everything. Yeah. So mimi from there nikajifunza sasa kushukuru Mungu. Mm-hmm. I went back to church and I thank God because I mean it may in a mighty way. And God has been so gracious to Amen. me. So nimekuwa na wakati mzuri, nimekuwa na neema ya Bwana. Uh, nimekuwa very strong. Hata sometimes watu waniangalia hivi wanashindwa. They don't wanielewi. Na mimi ninawaambia you you'll never understand me kwa sababu the one that I serve he know the story yeah cuz there is one person aliniuliza sasa wewe una bwana una mtoto utakaje utatafutaje wow. mtoto na wewe una wewe una serve kanisani hey. i told that person the one who started my story he knew it yeah. na anajua hata penye nimefika yeah. and he knows my story better than even how i know it yeah. He's a god of a second chance. Yeah. And he's, he's a god who can restore. Yeah. Yako tu nitumtumikie huyu Mungu kwa sababu I know this far I've seen God. Kama ingekuwa mkono wa Bwana, I don't know where I could have been. Kwa sababu nafikua wakati paka naambia Mungu I've been through a lot but I've seen your hand. Mm. Nimepitia mambo mengi kama ni kuibishwa nimeibishwa but Mungu ajaini achilia. Yeah. Ndio wao anasema kama vile Sarake anasema that I've been through a lot but I don't know I can't tell I've been through it. Yeah. Sielewi nimepitia but, one, but one thing I know yes that is my soul. One thing I know he took it over. And I know who, that one who took it over he has good and great plans. Kabisa. Yes. I know kuna mtu wako pale nje na pengine he's going through what I was going through or even worse than yeah. what I was going through. Yeah. Na pengine anashindwa atatokea kweli. I've been through the darkest moment but yeah. just as the dawn is coming kunaanza kupambazuka yeah. unaona kweli hata kama umepitia the dark moment there is a faithful God. So yangu ni kuencourage mtu na through my story. Yeah. Let somebody be encouraged. Usinione mm-hmm. uruma. Yeah. Be encouraged that there is a God who can change story. Yeah. There is a God who can change things that hata uwezi elewa ataifanya aje. For yeah. real, like for me I don't know how he's going to do it. But one thing I know, he must do something. Yeah, you go. That is my strong trust and believe that he'll do something. 
Grace Njeri Mogo mm -hmm. from Kirinyaga. And Kamiti is my very good name. Mm -hmm. These are the stories that you don't even know what to say after you have heard what happened. Mungu atakutetea. Na atakushughulikia. And one day you will testify. Probably right now this doesn't make sense. In the months to come, in the years to come, it will make a lot of sense. Lala salama. Go ahead.